गुड इवनिंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड पार्टिसिपेंट्स आई एम सुगन सिंह फैकल्टी इन दी स्कूल ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग यू आर वेलकम टू दिस थर्ड वीडियो ऑन फिल्ट्रेशन सो फार वी हैव डिस्कस फिल्ट्रेशन एंड फ्लो सैंड फिल्टर नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रेपिड सैंड फिल्टर एज पर इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड एट ओ वन नाइन पार्ट वन इट एल एस अबाउट फिल्टरिंग मीडिया ऑफ रेपिड सैंड फिल्टर पार्ट टू टेल एस अबाउट अंडर ड्रेनेज सिस्टम ऑफ रेपिड सैंड फिल्टर एज यूजल फिल्टर इज डिजाइन फॉर मैक्सिमम डेली डिमांड द साइज ऑफ दिस सेंट पार्टिकल आर लार्ज सो इम्प्यूरिटीज में पेनिट्रेट डीप इन साइड दी सेंड लेयर फिल्ट्रेशन रेट ऑफ रेपिड सेंड फिल्टर में वेरी फ्रॉम थ्री टू सिक्स मीटर क्यू पर आर पर स्क्वायर मीटर रेपिड सेंड फिल्टर इज जनरली यूज फॉर अर्बन वाटर सप्लाई स्कीम वेयर वी हैव अ हाई वाटर डिमांड द रॉ वाटर विथ एनी लेवल ऑफ टिटी कैन बी यूज दिस इज द पिक्टोरियल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ रेपिड सैंड फिल्टर ड्यूरिंग ऑपरेशन ऑफ रेपिड सैंड फिल्टर ओनली वॉल्व वन एंड वॉल्व टू आर ओपन एंड ऑल अदर वॉल्व आर क्लोज तो वॉटर कैन बी इंजेक्टेड फ्रॉम वॉल्व वन विच कैन परकुलेट थ्रू दिस सेंड लेयर एंड कलेक्टेड इन द under drainage system from under drainage system the filter water may be extracted out from valve number 2 so valve 1 allow the water to flow into the filter valve 2 allow the water to flow through the filter now what happen as the operation proceed impurities may come up with the filter water so it is very necessary to clean the filter on regular interval cleaning of filter after every regular interval can be done with back washing so only valve number 3 and 4 out open so water from the elevated reservoir with high pressure goes from the under drainage system and then to the gravel layer and sand layer all the impurities may be in suspension into the water and this can be collected from valve number 4 and will enter into the wash gutter cleaning of rapid sand filter is done under two condition one when head loss is so high that filter fail to produce water at desired rate it means when the filtration rate reduces drastically or when the flux start to break through the filter and the turbidity in the filter effluent increases it means when the impurities may be seen into the filter water so how back washing is done this we have already discussed all other valves are closed except valve number 3 and four only these valves are open remaining all the valves are closed 2 to 5% of the treated water is stored in a elevated tank so whatever the water is filter out from the rapid sand filter only 2 to 5% of the filter water is stored in the elevated tank for the cleaning operation stored water from the elevated tank with compressed air or without compressed air is passed into the filter through valve number Three for back washing after certain interval of time. That is every after one to two days we have to provide cleaning. Back washing rate is so high it expand and agitate the filter media and suspend impurities in water for removal. This impurities is collected in wash gutter to valve number four. After back washing, clean water is passed through the filter and collected into the wash gutter. to valve number 5 moving next in rapid sand filter well graded sand grain are used as distribution of wash water is one of the critical function flow of water during filtration is in laminar flow however flow of water during back washing is in transitional flow type of the laterals used in the rapid sand filter may be perforated pipe type or may be strainer perforated pipe type may have high velocity wash however strainer type may have slow velocity wash there are various parameter and recommended values used in the rapid sand filter which are mentioned here flow rate means filtration rate may varies from 2 to 20 meter per hour 
as the filtration rate is very high hence we need a very small surface area of the filter so surface area for rapid sand filter may vary from 10 to 100 square meter however this value for the slow sand filter may range from 100 to 2000 square meter effective size of the sand grain may vary from 0.45 to 0.7 millimeter however for the slow sand filter this value may vary from 0.2 to 0.35 mm coefficient of uniformity may vary from 1.3 to 1. 0.7 depth of the sand may vary from 60 to 75 centimeter depth of water over sand layer may vary from 1 to 2 meter free board of 0.5 meter is provided land to width ratio may vary from 1.25 to 1.33 base material that is gravel may be provided in 5 to 6 layer so this is for the good distribution of wash water so in layer 1 3 to 6 mm size of the particle may be used in layer 3 12 to 20 mm size of the particle may be used in layer 4 20 to 40 mm size of the particle may be used however the depth of the base material may vary from 45 to 50 centimeter hair loss may vary from 2.5 to 3 meter bacterial removal efficiency is 80 to 90 percent and minimum number of unit can be calculated as 1.22 times q to the power 0.5 or simply 2 back washing is done every after one to two days for 15 minutes where we use two to five percent of the filter water rate of back washing may vary from 15 to 90 centimeter rise per minute under drainage system length to dia of lateral should be less than 60 rate of application of wash water may vary from 6 to 16 times of rate of filtration dia of hole in lateral may be 5 meter when spacing provided is 8 centimeter center to center and 12 mm when spacing in the lateral may be provided 20 centimeter center to center so there are major operational trouble in rapid sand filter these are the major one formation of mud ball filter cracking air binding now formation of mud ball the mud from the atmosphere usually accumulate on the sand surface this mud is sticky in nature and forms a dense mat during inadequate washing this mud may sink into the sand bed mud shall stick on the sand grain and other arrested impurities thereby forming mud ball size and bed of the mud increases and may sink to the gravel bed so these interfere with the upward movement of the water so here is the mud walls which generally formed in the rapid sand filter if we do not provide cleaning operation on regular interval in this let's say here is the atmosphere this atmosphere contain very fine dust particle now this dust particle will going to arise straight onto the surface of the sand with the passage of time the thickness increases now this mud is sticky in nature so this will stick on the sand grain as the time passes the weight size of this mud increases so this will going to percolate inside the sand layer if we do not provide back washing on regular interval then this may be seen into the gravel layer also this is called mud ball next cracking of the filter the fine sand contained in the top layer of the filter bed shrinks. This causes shrinkage cracks on the sand bed. With the use of the filter, head loss increases which increase the pressure on the sand surface. Now this pressure will going to widen the cracks onto the surface of the sand. Due to the atmospheric condition, this sand layer will have small cracks with the passage of time what happened there is a constant pressure applied from the top 
सो दिस प्रेशर विल गोइंग टू इंक्रीज दी थिकनेस ऑफ दिस क्रैक सो वाइडनिंग ऑफ क्रैक्स में अकर नाउ ड्यू टू दिस वाइडनिंग ऑल द इम्प्योरिटीज गेट पेनीट्रेट इन टू दिस क्रैक्स विद द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम प्रेशर ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेस सो द डेप एंड द वाइडनिंग ऑफ cracks increases so in this way impurities can easily be seen into the filter water now phenomena of air binding when filter is newly commissioned head loss is very small loss of head goes on increases as impurities get accumulated on to the surface of the sand so a stage will come when frictional resistance is more than the head of the water above the sand bed if the frictional resistance is more means head loss is more filtration rate is less hence frictional resistance is mainly offered by a top 10 to 15 cm of the sand layer this top 10 to 15 cm layer offer the frictional resistance against the static head as the time passes impurities get accumulated onto the surface of the sand so head loss increases this water will goes down here is a high head loss so there may be a chance of having vacuum in this zone in this case water is sucked rather than filter so in this case what happened bottom sand act like a vacuum and water is sucked through the filter media rather than getting filtered through it it also generate negative pressure which release the dissolved air present in the water so this dissolved air in the form of bubble get stick on to the sand grain and this phenomena is called air binding and which completely stop the functioning of the filter to avoid this condition filter should be frequently cleaned here is the comparison between the slow sand filter and rapid sand filter rate of filtration in slow sand filter may vary from 0.1 to 0.2 meter per hour however in rapid sand filter filtration rate is very high 3 to 6 meter per hour rapid sand filter will having a very high filtration rate due to which it require very less area area required in slow sand filter may vary from 100 to 2000 square meter however in rapid sand filter this surface area may vary from 10 to 100 square meter turbidity of feed water in slow sand filter should be less than 50 ntu whereas there is no limit of turbidity for rapid sand filter slow sand filter is very effective in removing bacteria up to 99.99% bacteria can be removed however filtration rate is very high so bacteria removal efficiency would be less maybe around 80 to 90% cost of installation of slow sand filter is high whereas for rapid sand filter it is low cost of operation and maintenance in slow sand filter is very low however cost of operation and maintenance will be high because it need frequent cleaning every after 1 to 2 days method of cleaning in slow sand filter we scrub of the top sand layer in rapid sand filter we provide back washing with or without compressed air quantity of filter water used in cleaning operation may varies from 0.2 to 0.5 percentage of filter water in case of the slow sand filter whereas in case of rapid sand filter quantity of filter water required would be around 2 to 5% slow sand filter is clean every after 2 to 4 month however rapid sand filter is clean every after 1 to 2 days slow sand filter is simple to construct rapid sand filter become somewhat more complicated when compare with the slow sand filter no skilled supervision is required in slow sand filter however skilled supervision and labor is required in case of the rapid sand filter this is enough for the rapid sand filter i hope you like my video please do comment in case of any problem thank you